This is a 2001 Hans 311. Don't be fooled by the age. This has a lot of updated features that you don't want to miss. So please stick around in this video to see the features and benefits of this fantastic Hans 311. Hi there, I'm Jonathan Parker from Parker Adams Boat Sales. And today we're showing you, of course, this Hans 311. It's a 2001 model, but don't let the age for you this is actually a really really well updated boat it actually has a 2022 engine um, a d120 it's not even run in yet it's only done one hour since it was fitted to the end of last season now this boat is now not really in use the current owner comes down and visits the boat but he doesn't practically use it anymore which is the reason he's selling it um, but the boat does appear in the video you'll see it looks a bit grubby around the edges but actually with the upgrades it's had in the last few years it's actually a really fantastic buy um, now i'm showing you up the front first because um, I just want to show you um, one of the things it's got, it's actually got an electric windlass um, with up and down controls. Quite unusual, quite often they're just uh, manual ones now, but it's actually got an electric windlass on the, on the 31 foot yacht. But also it's got a self-tacking Genoa. So the Genoa, as you can see, it goes onto this self-tacking um, um, self um, 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 track. Saying thanks, Nick, on this self tacking track. Um, you can actually deploy it from the helm, as you can see, and the helm goes back to the winch at the helm there. Um, so you deploy it from there. And, but when you want to return it, before I pop down the other end, it's actually, this is really well set up for single handed use because it actually has an electric winch on the back. So you can pull the Genoa back in electrically, it just gives you a bit of purpose because you know how hard it can be sometimes with the weight in the sails. Um, so it actually benefits you so you can do it from the helm. Um, also, um, the main sail is, um, it's only two years old. I think the foresail is as well. So both sails are only two years old. And, uh, and of course the, the sail, as you can see, it's, um, it's a slab sail, so you just pull it up as you normally would. Um, but that can also be pulled up from the helm as well on the winch on the starboard side. So again, it's all set up for single-handed use. And, um, and it's set up for the reliability as well. So with the new engine and also the electronics. So the electronics as well, um, if you pop back, if you pop on. Uh, they've also had an upgrade. So it's actually got now fitted a 12-inch hybrid pro grey marine plotter with a new autopilot system as well and you can see it's a helm autopilot um, and then of course you've got your wind instrument as well so it's a really good setup so all the things you would want to do on a boat of this age new engine um, new electronics new sails it's all been done it's, it's fantastic also the the electrical wiring's been taken care of as well. It's got new batteries, um, new cables down there as well. So it, all the, the things that might become unreliable on a 22 year old boat, it's all being sorted out. Um, so it's really, really fantastic. Um, also, um, you can see these little posts. Um, the cockpit area is set up. So there is a table here as well that you can pull up for a bit of social seating. There's a couple of cockpit cushions. I've only found two. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to assume there's cockpit cushions all the way around, but I can only find two on the boat. So there may be some hidden or they're at the, um, the owner's house. We'll see if we can confirm that. Um, but, um, but again, if it's got the cushions all the way around, it's great. But if it's only got the two, obviously, again, it's for use just for uh, a couple um, who want to sit out here. But it also has two corner seats as well. And these are at the um, owner's home. Um, so it has the two corner seats. He's just cleaning them up at home and then they'll be returned to the boat. Um, but the other thing I want to show you as well is that um, it has had, unfortunately, um, in the winter period, a slight bit of damage. But as you can see, if you can see through um, the dirt, actually, it's a nice condition. Apart from um, in the winter period, he actually a line broke, unfortunately, and it hit the pontoon and it actually took the ladder off. We do have the ladder. It's in the cockpit there, but the ladder needs a small repair because um, it actually broke off the threaded and the studs on there and also took some of the gel off on the back and we've had a quote for the repair for this and um, you could do a local repair um, or you could gel the whole lot so it will match forever um, the worst case scenario is about 1800 pounds to do the whole lot including the deal work um, so um, so that's something to bear in mind and um, the boat is being sold as is I think with the upgrades and everything like that, it compensates for other things. Um, the teak as well, people are concerned about the teak, but I've had a good look round and the teak's actually, generally, um, it's not really lifting anywhere. It shrunk a little bit, um, but most of the, um, the teak 
um, um, fittings are, are in place. There is a few missing, but also the only other thing that I've found is there's one plank that's lifted, which is just along here. So there's just this one plank I've lifted. I think with, um, with that being fitted back down and a good scrub, I think, you know, it's 22 years old. Um, I think we'd expect it to be in a nice presentable condition, which it would be with a good scrub down. So, so again, I think when that's sorted out, it, I think, again, it'll be a very pretty boat. You know, the navy blue with the nice bright teak, it'll be a very pretty boat. Uh, the other thing as well is the cover, is the hood. You can see the perspex is slightly going. So the, I think it could do, it's in generally good condition. There doesn't seem to be any tears or anything in it. So I think it needs a launder and just new perspex put in. Um, if you wanted to, you could renew it, but I don't think you need to in this case. Sometimes I'd advise you do, but I think with just, um, just, um, just having the perspex done, it'll be in nice shape. And the same with the um, cover for the sails. Um, generally, I think they were quite new when the sails were put on, um, but again, everything just needs that bit of a clean up. Just needs a good spruce up. So let me show you rounds the rest of the boat and we'll go down below and we'll show you the saloon area the heads and the cabin let's pop down through to the saloon it's a usual sort of 31 foot yacht setup we've got two bench seats um, either side and then of course you can lift the leaves of the table to create a bigger dining area and then we have the galley space on this side um, and then the oven um, is again it's pretty clean but again uh, it's not too bad because we've tidy it's had some use but not overused we have the fridge top loading fridge in here and then of course your usual seat I'm not even done this but should be okay so you've got twin sink as well um, so if you pop on down and we've got the helm station, so we've got the chart table with storage underneath. And then we can also see we've got um, the switches to turn everything on and off, the VHF um, down here. And we also have diesel heating. So again, we also have diesel heating on this boat, which is really good. Um, so then that leads through, so it's a, a best batch of diesel heating, and it leads through to the, um, to the heads. And the heads are very generous in size. Um, so it's a good space. Um, there's a um, there's a bit of storage here, manual toilet, sink, and then obviously the shower area here, or see wet hanging space, whichever you want. But this also shows through too, under that locker that I just showed you. That's how you access it from in here. You can also access the toilet seacocks as well. Um, so again, very very useful um, space there. There's also side engine access from this side. And the side engine access in the other um, cabin, which we'll show you in a sec. Let me just show you the engine. So again, the engine here, as you can see, it's a brand new D120. Um, only, it's not even run in yet. As I can say, it's only had an hour's use, but new cell drive as well. Um, on there and of course the diaphragm was new when it was put on at the same time. Um, really good little practical engine and um, plenty of power for a boat of this size. Let's scoot round into here and um, just get you an idea of the size of the rear cabin. If you have a look there's a heating vent in there as well um, but again usual 31 foot space. Um, I'm six foot um, I know we keep saying that but actually as we go into the centre of here I've actually got another two or three inches above my head so it's actually a good head height all the way around so if you are tall and you're thinking the the 31 foot is just too small you'll be stooping everywhere actually it's a good practical size um, you can see the doors shorter of course um, but this is the forward the actual other door frames are slightly taller which we'll show you in a minute and the front cabin also has an infill and it can be used for storage most people tend to go in the aft cabin because it's that slightly more spacious but this is a good size second cabin for again for a 31 footer um, and again it's got its own door and um, the woodwork is in okay condition for the year i've seen a lot worse it's actually pretty nice actually actually looking a bit closer there's no um too much there's not real bad water damage or anything like that so it doesn't look like there's been um, any leaks in here and this has sat um here without use for the season so it really does need to go its, to its new owner now and get some good use out of it um but fantastic day today we're actually at um, shamrock key mdl marina down in southampton 
and uh, um, and this Hans 311 being um, that it's uh, really good for single-handed use and um, really practical but also nice for a small family um, nice to take friends out for a day sail and very practical ease of use the upgraded navigation autopilot new sails in 2020 new engine for your reliability I think it's just a fantastic thing um, diesel heating I mean, there's not really much you wouldn't want on a 31 foot yacht and this yacht is only on the market at the moment for 39,995 so just under 40,000 pounds and when you take into account the cost of the engine sails the um, and the navigation actually the boat itself with a bit of TLC will be a really really nice example of a Hans 311 so Subscribe to our channel, please, um, to watch more videos that we've done. We've done similar sized boats as well, newer ones and older ones. So it'd be really good to check out our channel, parker-adams.co.uk is our website. Um, so if you like this boat, come and see us on the next one. But for now, I'll say goodbye. Um, so goodbye.